friends welcome to the channel today i'll be talking about how we can copy files from asset folder from asset we copy files from asset to our data directory so i won't, won't be using this edit text first i've added my my random files in my asset then I add a button. I added a button. So the first thing I'm going to do is come to uncreate. I'm going to come to uncreate and add this file block, this right block. We we'll add the right block. Then enable app compact. I'm going to enable app compact. This project. So now I'm manifest file. We're going to add this attribute to give us all storage access in Android 10. So in Android 11, we're going to make some changes so it also give us all storage access. So we add this XML block. Added this XML block. The name of the XML is Android manifest dot xml the command will be find and replace so i'm going to replace all the permissions the permissions so i'm replacing the permissions with android 11 compatible permissions so this is the permissions as you can see these are the permissions Manage external storage that is the only thing that differs and is suppressed with our normal. So we are able to compound before we copy all these codes. So I've come here. I've this is the old method for checking. We are replacing it with first of all, I'm going to check if it is denied. If permission is if permission is not denied, sorry, if permission is not denied. I'm going to initialize on create of schedule. This this is on create initialize met logic. Then we're going to check if build SDK is, is greater than M. M is API 23 because we one time storage permission started from API 23. So I'm going to check. I'm also going to check if build is equals to R. That is Android 11. So we're going to request for all five store uh, oh sorry for that we're going to request action manager of files access permission start activity for result one two three four is my request code so on activity results that is when permission when permission has been checked whether it's granted by checking the request code is equal to the request code i gave and if it's, the result is is greater than zero, that's if the result is greater than zero, then we're going to check also if permission is denied. If permission is denied, we're going to request for a new permission. Else we will initialize on create logic. Let's initialize logic. We're going to initialize on create method. Then added this block the right block then in our more block I you create a more block this method we check if permission is denied we check if permission is denied that is if permission is not granted then this is our code to copy assets we just copy this to a more block then in our button click uh, is when users click on a button to copy the asset you can replace these parts with edit text get text but i'm using parts because i already defined the parts and i'm not changing it at one time but if you are changing the location at one time you can replace the value with a string of your choice so when we click the button we check if if the part exists in the phone if it doesn't exist it's going to make it so 
this is our this is our method to copy copy so now we're going to test it we're going to test it we're going to test it and ensure that it's working so our android android I'm going to delete this part first so that we will retest it afresh. I'm going to delete our package directory. Then commit to the project. So I'm going to as I've clicked on it. Okay. Sorry for that. So I made little changes to the project without compiling it. So, so I've click on it. It will copy. It will copy to this part. So these are the files from our asset. This is the files from our asset. This is the files for our asset. So please, if you need this project, I'm going to upload the project to Sketchly. You can get the link to Sketchly in the description below. Please subscribe. I would really love if I can get an Android level tester for all the tutorials. So that in case anyone experience, because I really want to make it uh, Android 11 users a very better environment for everybody. So we don't be get disturbed Android 11, Android 11. So there are still some ways you can set Android 11 the way you are. Even if it's not 100% it does, it does for Android 10. There are still some ways you can access it to your satisfaction, both copying from other files and as the case may be. So this is Sketchly. I will be uploading it here. Please subscribe. Thank you.